and I said, could you give me the definition of chronic pain? There would be five to ten different definitions. Based upon the current definition that's offered by the National Pain Strategy, none of them would be correct. Welcome to the Regenerative Warrior Podcast, Doctor's Edition. One of the fastest growing regenerative medicine and anti-aging podcasts in the world. Each and every Tuesday and Thursday, I talk to the top experts to show doctors how to market, manage, and magnify their practice to help more people and make more money. Each episode is short and to the point without wasting your time with pointless conversation. Learn the skills to be successful without traveling to seminars or paying for expensive consulting fees. Are you ready? Because I am. I'm Dr. Ross Carter, and it's time to start the Regenerative Warrior Podcast now. I'm James J. Lehman. Excellent. What are we going to talk about today? Well, I'd like to address chronic pain. It's an epidemic in this country. Tell me more about that. All right. So why is it an epidemic? Well, number one is most medical doctors are not properly trained how to evaluate and treat people that have pain. And there's a paper, actually a white paper that's written and published that discusses the problems with a lack of education within medical schools regarding musculoskeletal, neuromusculoskeletal, and pain conditions. And as a result of that, the doctors, when they have a patient come in with pain, they're somewhat frustrated. They either refer the patient out for physical therapy or they write a prescription for opioids, which we now have an opioid addiction problem. And quite frankly, if I went into a classroom with a thousand doctors, and it doesn't matter if they're MDs, DOs, chiropractors, podiatrists, whatever, and I said, could you give me the definition of chronic pain? There would be five to ten different definitions, and none of them would be correct. Based upon the the current definition that's offered by the National Pain Strategy, which was funded by the NIH and the federal government and the Institute of Medicine. So let me first of all say, what is the definition of chronic pain? Exactly. And and the definition from the National Pain Strategy, which is appropriate and much easier to understand, actually has to do with pain that occurs 50% of the days in a week for six months or longer. That's simple. 50% or more days per week. So a person could wake up with pain and then it goes away as the day goes on. Or they could wake up without pain, but the pain occurs as their activities take place during the day. So if they had two hours of pain or 24 hours of pain, four days a week for six months or longer, that fits the definition, the current definition of chronic pain from the National Pain Strategy. So why do you think it's that the doctors are not educated in this area? And why is it important for them to understand the concept? The major reason for allopathic or MD not to be educated in this area is because they are trained through residency as hospitalists. They're trained as hospital doctors seeing hospital conditions, and they're not trained to do primary care where all these patients with pain, chronic low back pain, chronic neck pain, chronic headaches, plus all of the acute pain conditions that show up in a primary care practice. They're just not trained to evaluate and manage those patients. So, and what is the result of not being trained properly? What is the negative effect of that? Oh, 50 to 75 deaths per year in the United States from opioid abuse and um, a chronic pain epidemic where over 100,000 Americans now have chronic pain. And that's because doctors don't understand the concept of chronic pain. And I said 100,000, didn't I? So it's 100 million plus at this point have chronic pain. Right. 50 to 75,000 people die from opioid problems. Yes, every year. Right. Absolutely. That was right. Yeah. Okay. I got you. I got you. And so is there an alternative? or something that doctors can do to help with this crisis. In fact, one of the organizations that the university works with uh, and collaborates with at this time in Connecticut, they currently contract in 33 different states to provide education to primary care providers on how to evaluate and manage chronic pain. Basically, what is it they're telling them to do differently than they're doing currently? Well, they're teaching them how to actually evaluate and make a diagnosis relative to pain and also to understand what type of assets are available for their use. So one of the parts that's of interest to me within their chronic pain program is the use of chiropractic medicine. So are they training doctors on understanding to use chiropractic in the referral base? That is part of the training. First of all is being able to understand the patient with chronic pain because that's oftentimes very frustrating for all types of doctors and especially if they have a high impact chronic pain where there's actual disability. So that's a very unique type of patient that if you don't understand their condition you'll be very 
very frustrated and you'll be unsuccessful with management of that pain patient. Hi, sorry for the interruption. This is Dr. Ross Carter. Frequently, I get asked, who are the best companies for stem cell products, exosomes, marketing, consulting, and other products and services mentioned on this podcast? The mission of this podcast is really to provide free education for doctors in regenerative medicine and anti-aging. And after extensive research and negotiation, we've worked out special pricing for all of our listeners. And I put this together in one place. To learn more, just call us at 866-9-WARRIOR. Again, that number is 866-9-WARRIOR or 866-992-7746. Back to the program. As an example, the difference between a chronic pain patient and a chronic pain illness patient or a high impact chronic pain patient, yes. I can delineate for you and simplify it. I have a chronic pain syndrome due to a car accident that took place in 1987. Okay. I've got some type of pain every day, but I have coping skills. I have education. I have a job. I have a support system. I cope with the pain. Life goes on. Now, take another person with exactly the same type of injury due to a car accident who doesn't have education necessarily, doesn't have a support system, is uninsured, works two minimum wage jobs that are manual labor, they have a car accident, they're injured, they don't have a car any longer because they were underinsured, they lose both of their jobs, and they have six children. So when I had my car accident, I was upset because I was going to miss my racquetball game at lunch. They're highly, highly affected because now they lose their job and they can't feed their children. So the effect on their their limbic system is much different than the effect it had on mine. Agreed. Yours is more of an inconvenience. Theirs is life altering. Exactly. Interesting. And how would you say, what is it that we can do for people in this area? I mean, what's a good call to action for a doctor in this area to learn about this or process this information? We have a postdoctoral program in neuromusculoskeletal medicine. So it's a 300 hour program. And upon completion of that program, the doctors can then sit part one and part two exams with the Academy of Care practic orthopedists. They pass the examination. They are now a board certified chiropractic specialist who's been trained above their four years of chiropractic training as a neuromuscular skeletal specialist. Gotcha. And how would you say that benefits chiropractors who do this program? So chiropractors that become board certified as chiropractic specialists have an easier pathway to integrate into healthcare systems. For instance, with our community health center uh, program that we work with, all of our chiropractors have to be board certified chiropractic specialists or they can't become credentials. So as an example of our program, besides integrating chiropractic services, we also integrate chiropractic education for students and graduate chiropractors who are residents and fellows. And we also have the research component. So there's clinical services, clinical education, and clinical research that's available because we have chiropractic specialists integrated into healthcare systems. And the healthcare systems I'm talking about right now would include federally qualified health centers, which are oftentimes community health centers. We're also looking at the same opportunity with rural health clinics all over the United States. Well, wonderful. I think that's been very, very eye-opening for myself especially. So what would you like to say in conclusion for the listeners that say that are interested in pursuing this or finding out more? What would you say? Well, what I would say is that if you're practicing in primary care or specialty care and you're dealing with patients that are in pain, yes. it might be worthwhile to consider consulting with chiropractic specialists who are trained in neuromusculoskeletal medicine because we don't have all the answers, but we are part of the solution with the evaluation and management of patients with chronic pain. And most importantly, if chiropractic specialists are integrated into your healthcare systems, they might be able to take the patient with an acute problem, evaluate and manage it more effectively and avoid chronic pain. That's all the time we have. If you're looking for the best companies for stem cell products, exosomes, marketing, consulting, or other products and services, please call us at 866-9-WARRIOR for the best options. Mention this podcast for special pricing and offers. That's 866-9-WARRIOR or 866-992-7746. Also, you can click the subscribe button below to be notified of all new episodes and please like and share this podcast with others. If you found value in this episode, please comment and review. That will help this podcast grow. If you'd like to learn more about this or any other speaker, click on the show notes or visit us at regenerativewarrior.com. If you'd like to be a guest on our show, we'd love to have you. Just go to our website and click the application link. 
You can contact me at Dr. Ross Carter at regenerativewarrior.com with show ideas or if you'd like me to present at your event. Until next time, this is Dr. Ross Carter signing off. Oh, 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 oh,